good morning guys welcome to today we i i am headed to do laundry we were up early the girls and i sam is at work and we had a fast jump in the shower just checking my line here if i should wash this stuff anyway it poured rain last night poured could not even hear each other in the sunroom because the rain on the roof was so loud the girls have headed off to the pool without me so that i could get the laundry done laundry in this room and I used this dryer right here and it would not dry my clothes I spent like eight dollars on it today it's out of order Laundry room is right beside the pool. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, I'm Sarah, Gabby's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting in the shade. Hi. It's so scorching hot already. We got Sarah with us. She is staying out. Are you staying out all week? I'm going to sleep. She's going to stay as long as she can, right? Yeah. Yeah. She lives where Brooklyn and Jacob live, an hour away from us, and she, um, her parents are at work this week, and we're out here, so she stayed out, and she'll be hanging with us most of the week. And it's good to have a cousin with you because you're only allowed to swim in the pool if you have somebody 16 or older, and Sarah's 16, so finally they can swim, even if I have to run to put the laundry in and that kind of stuff. But we are headed to the barn in about 10 minutes or so. You have to. Why are we headed to the barn, Sophie? Um, because my horse is getting a chiropractor. Yeah, because chiropractor is coming back today to check out Stella. I'm so excited because clearly that girl's gonna have some issues um, with a belly that big. It's gotta hurt your back, I should know. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so we're headed to the barn to check that out. And I should tell you guys, um, like there's so many things that I didn't tell you guys. It just was so busy. But before we bought Stella, our instructor was on the phone to the vet and to the farrier. Took pictures, took video, sent them to our vet, sent them to our farrier, and was like, hey, I feel like this, she's gonna be fine and this is the issue. And she wanted to see what they thought. And they both thought that she be completely fine and that her feet were just cut too short and yeah so um, that's how come we got so much going on with Stella so fast we had the farrier there as soon as possible and we had the vet there as soon as possible after she arrived because they already knew she was coming there was a June bug in here did you guys scream we, no we so shoot it into the Sarah went and I, we did not shoot it I went Dad and I thought of this, or Jackie and I thought of this really cool thing yesterday. What if we made a pool floaty where it's like a little circle sling thing and you sit in it and then the parents pull back and you let go and it slingshots you into that a pool slingshot. Like wouldn't that be so cool? I think we should patent that. I think it would be amazing. Comment below if you think that we should make a slingshot that it's like a little net, you sit in it, and then you pull it back, and or even you push a button, and it slingshots you across the pool or the lake. What do you do when you're ready to go to the barn but you're too early? You go for an ice cream date with all your peeps. All my girls. There was once a time when I didn't think I'd ever have a daughter. And I have two plus one. <laughs> right, we are at the barn. There's two new horses at the barn, you guys. Two. We have to take a look around. One of them is owned by a kid, 13 year old girl. I love when kids own horses because this is such a good kid barn, such a good place for kids. For kids. Yeah, I'm just saying that because you're a kid, Sophie. Some people believe that kids are hard on animals. I believe that kids make animals 
more calm and relaxed. Like everybody that we know in real life says our chihuahuas are the nicest chihuahuas you could ever want to meet. And it's because they've been handled by our kids since they were tiny little girls. I mean, Macy had her first bath in the toilet when Gabby was two. <laughs> so she learned to be accepting of other people and Except yeah. for when they talk about Animals and kids go together in my mind. <laughs> We met one of you guys today. Yeah, we met a subscriber today at McDonald's, so that was super fun. But it was so noisy there, my ears are plugged, I can't hear anything. Now I'm gonna tell an embarrassing Gabby story. Shh, don't tell her I told you. So anyway, we're at McDonald's and I um, was ordering a uh, ice cream sundae for her instructor. I told her I'd bring her one. And Gabby's like, call, so cool and collected. And she's like a teenager and she's over in the middle of the restaurant waiting all by herself. And all of a sudden, she's like under my armpit. Wait, I was like this. Was anyway, like this. so then I'm like, oh, that's okay. She like came over and was hanging out with me finally. She's not too cool for me. And then all of a sudden I saw this lady say, Oh yeah, there's a mess on the ground over here. Like somebody spilled their pop and the lady behind the counter is like, oh, I'll come and clean it. And I, I'm oblivious because I can't hear anything. I uh, look over, Gabby's still under my armpit with her empty cup of pop. And I'm like, oh, was that you? <laughs> and she's like, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It was a funny story, you guys. Had to be there, I think. I went down to Nashville. A guitar in the back I was gonna make it big Make my That's my favorite sound. Sarah's like, oh no, are they free? It's Gabby's friend's horse. Hello. Hey, look how neat she is. She poops like in one spot. Chubby girl. Making friends. Making friends. Let's do it. Look at you guys think Stella lost weight. No. <laughs> Stella, are you gaining weight? Bye, Storm. We'll be back, my love. Hello, Blue. Oh, Stella's got a few bites too. Holy cow. It's hard to see them with bites. I was gonna make it big. Make money by the side. Look at her, she's got cuts everywhere. Have you been fighting, Stella? Mom, I can see the thing right here. Yeah. I don't know. It's, there's a lot of fat on top of those ribs. Like, I don't know what that line is, but holy cow. Look, I could pinch it. It's a lot of chubby. Sophie's using her new brush. I'll give you this. She's so fat. Yeah, she's so fat. I can't wait till her hair grows good because the bottom's all white. The bottom whole half is white and this is black. This was she scratched herself on the trees. That's what got that. I like how when it goes when it's black. And it goes into white? Texas like that too. No, like when it's when where her black spots are. Yeah, it's so pretty. And it's like more of a creamy. I went down to Nashville, a guitar in the back. I was gonna make it big, make money by the side. Oh. oh, 
been one. Has she ever been adjusted in her life? We don't know. Probably not in a long time. She's like, give it back now. You want to run and get her a carrot? Can you go? No, I have her feet. Gabby. No. Okay, come on, let's go. Sorry, Stella, no carrots for you because your owner is lazy, and your Gabby other owner has bad feet. Hay cubes. No, she no. can't have hay. Well, she can have hay. Yeah. Gabby, do you have hay cubes? Um, anyway, so the results of the chiropractor on little miss stella who is very chubby has been pretty much left in the field for two years basically she did better than storm she's better than storm um all things considered she has nothing wrong with her no issues no sore spots no sore spots you guys her back isn't sore yeah. Hurry up. Wow, let's go. Teaching her, stuff. her back isn't sore Everything's good. She's good. Um, she said, I, I, videoed, I videoed what she said at the beginning about her back. Oh, she said that she, like a draft horse, even though she's probably not a, a draft horse, our instructor thinks that she's just a regular old paint cross and with a little bit of draft in her because she does have a bit of a big bone structure. And Whoa. don't poop. Don't poop. I got flip flops on. No, mom. I stopped her. She said that she's pretty springy well, you don't need to. and super flexible and that she thinks as she loses the weight that her, that her back is going to go from being like this to being whoosh. She thinks this is going to come flying right up and she thinks that she's going to be excellent for what we want her for and yeah so like every single professional person that we've talked to, the vet, the farrier, our instructor, the massage, or the chiropractor, all of them, all of them think that she's in awesome shape for what we want, that she's gonna be able to be absolutely everything that we wanted. And that makes me happy. There's a lady in the barn almost passed out from the heat. It's that hot. I feel so connected to Stella, like so connected. Like Storm is Gabby's horse. It's always gonna be Gabby's horse. He loves her, he whinnies. Like if he's in a stall somewhere and he, all of a sudden she's like, door, and he can't see her, but he knows she's coming, he loses his mind. Like he whinnies and it's so fun to see. And when we first got him, he was like really sweet, but now, he wants to be rubbed and he wants to be cuddled. Like he puts his head right inside of her body and is like, touch me, touch me. And Stella is Sophie's horse, but oh, I just feel so much love for her. And maybe it's because she was the underdog and so many people Bye. think that she's not worth anything. And all I see is how much she's worth. Like I feel like one day soon in the fall, we're all gonna be like, wow, who's that beautiful horse at the barn? that's doing amazing things. Mom, it's like she's a big puppy dog. Yeah, yeah, like this horse walked into our life as loving as Storm. Sophie's training her. She's super smart. 
and our instructor said she's the cleanest horse in there in her barn. Yeah, she poops in one spot. She likes clean shavings. She pees in the corners. She's friendly to all the horses. She shares her food, you guys. This, is, this video is all about Stella. All right, like that was that. Was, Sophie's training her to stop on command. That was, and we're all like, let's go in the pool. Let's go. That was me just not pulling back. Good girl. So we blow out to tell our horses to stop. And her tail is gorgeous. And her mane is pretty but thin. It's not like, it's just nice. It's not too thin, but it's not like crazy to braid. Mom, she's bleeding. Uh oh. Because you pulled that skirt. Oh. Out. Oh my gosh. You guys, she's bleeding. Can you see it? Sophia is all stressed out because I tried to take this scab off. But you should. Can you see it? She's bleeding. Mom. I hate the Walk. scab stain on them like that. I'm a scab picker, you guys. guys. She only fights with horses unless they fight with her. My name is Laura and I'm a scab picker. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I'm just a scab picker. Oh, Anyways, I was thinking today. I was thinking today how our vlog is finished. Like our vlog is completely finished. You know why our vlog is finished, Sophie? Yeah. Because um, in our trailer it says we are a family on our way to, on our journey to finding our very first horse. We already did it. Like we did it. We did it twice, you guys. We actually did it three times. So like now what do we vlog about? We're not on a journey to our first horse anymore. She doesn't rush on her way back to the barn. Like they all rush. She eats slow. Like she's, she's so, awesome. she's so amazing. She listens to everybody. All these horses in the stall up there waiting for the chiropractor and they're all pawing the ground and our girl just stood there. Yeah. Just stood there. And went to the bathroom and it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You love her so much you don't mind cleaning up her poop? I hate cleaning up poop. But you did it anyway because you love her, right? Not that good of a job. It's no. Hard. That's what being a parent is like. Yep. Yep. Horse? Is this your first time like really hanging out with horses? Is this your horse? Is this the horse you like? Is this your size? He's the one who looked the friendliest. <laughs> He's the one that looked the friendliest. Friendliest? She's got lots of hay left. Guys, come see how sweet he wants. He cut his mane. Okay, just wait. Let me take a picture of Sarah. <laughs> Sophie's paranoid. She's getting all up there like kind of kissing. Ah, ah, ah. Storm. You yeah. Know, oh, his mane. He looks cute like that, oh, you guys. He looks our instructor wants us to roach his mane. I'm not. Roach his mane, but yeah, I say leave it exactly like it is. Gabby's not happy about the mane. And somebody cut your horse's hair without your permission. She's putting that MGT, MTG. No gloves, she just uses it. Come on in. So if you go on the other side with her and help her so that, because Sarah's meeting a horse, <laughs> she's like, <laughs> go, go right in over there. She doesn't care. You're okay. He, the only thing he's going <laughs> to... Okay. Um, Spencer, it was not cool to pick <laughs> that moment to yawn. Sarah went, she thought he looked like the friendliest horse. Oh, there he did it again. See? Uh, she thought that he looked like the friendliest, probably because he's small. And she's like, I'll get a picture with him. <laughs> he's laughing. <laughs> He's laughing. Ah. He's like, ah, ha, ha. <laughs> Look at all the hay she has left. Fiona asked, me, the Fiona asked me. Fiona asked me. Fiona asked me if she ate all her hay, and she's like, got tons left. Okay, come on in. It, it, I know I was like that before. There, she's like, who's that girl? <laughs> she's like, I'll eat you. <laughs> she, she won't eat you. She never bites. There you go. Every time Sam comes back to the trailer, there's something new in the car. So now there, Gabby noticed right away that there's this fly sheet. I think Sam has become obsessed with his car. Like this is his third daughter, Sabrina. Did, did we tell them our car's name is Sabrina? No, this is Sabrina guys. No, we told yeah. them. Oh, we did tell them? Well, Sabrina has a fly mask. <laughs> Gabby's like oh Instagramming. Are you Instagramming? My phone's in the car. I swear, she grew like so tall. And Sophie's grown tall too. Yeah. All right, so the girls are gonna do a, a 
barn style and they're gonna sit on the tailgate to the dump. Uh, we can't sit on the tailgate because of that. Yeah. Yes, you can. No, no we're sitting but, back there. Oh, okay. But um, yeah, we are not like roughing it. We have to climb up on a ladder. I'm roughing it. Hold my phone. <laughs> right. Hold my phone. Watch out. Right. Here she, oh, watch out. Especially She's rocking it. Here she goes. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Oh my gosh. What? I probably could have done that when I was young. <laughs> yeah, you know you're old when you have to use a ladder to climb up into your truck. <laughs> Too high. <laughs> <laughs> We started this vlog three years ago. It was a family vlog and then it turned into a journey to get our first horse. I'm super excited now that we have our horses to keep going and to learn as much as we can. Um, I'm going to end today's video and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.